This is a video on how to design a form in DriveWorks Solo. Within this video, I will show you how to create some simple form controls and also how to control some dynamic form controls. I already have SolidWorks and the DriveWorks Solo project open. I have opened up the project designer and gone to the form designer task heading. Here I have a form open that displays every possible form control option available to you in DriveWorks Solo. In total, there are 11 form controls available for you to choose from, which I will briefly describe now. Number 1. The checkbox displays a box that, when selected, will show a check mark. This form control is typically used for making a yes-no selection or a number of yes-no selections that will decide which models are required for generation. But it can be equally effective invoking form navigation decisions, disabling form controls or overriding default values. Number 2. A label is used to display a text on the user form. Number 3. The hyperlink displays a label where a hyperlink can be set that opens a new window to a specified URL. When the form control is applied, the name entered will display as a caption on the form control. Number 4. The option group displays a list of options with radio buttons adjacent to each. Only one of the group options can be selected. When the form control is applied, the name entered will display as a caption for the form control. The spin button displays a box with a numeric value. The value is incremented by clicking on the up or down arrows in the box. Increments can be set by the increment property. When the form control is applied, the name entered will display as a caption for the form control. Number 6. A combo box is a list of items, delimited by the pipe bar symbol, which control the items shown in the control. Number 7. The list box displays a scrollable box from which an item can be selected. Number 8. A picture box is the form control that will display an image. Number 9. The text box displays a box in which any alphanumeric value can be entered. Number 10. The numeric text box displays a box in which numeric values can be entered. Number 11. The slider displays a slide bar which represents a numeric value. These are all available from the command bar within the project designer. If we go to the details form, you will see that there has been some form controls already set up, but they are looking very empty at the moment and could do with some graphics added to them. I have pre-created the graphics, so now I will add them to the form controls. The first one I will do is the company name. So click on the company name from the control and under the file name property, click onto the rules builder button to associate a picture with it. Here I will locate the pre-created picture and click on it. This should show up on the form control. Now do exactly the same thing for the length form control, except add the graphic called length. Add the height graphic for the height form control, and then add the width graphic for the width form control. Finally, I will add a background graphic that will sit behind the other form controls. Give the whole form a quick test by clicking on the test button located in the project designer command bar. This is a quick example of how adding graphics to your form can dramatically improve the look of it. Now if we click on the form called Dynamic Form Control, I will demonstrate how to create some dynamic form controls. I will create some dynamic form controls that display a chosen material and changes when a separate form control is changed. First I will create a combo box that will list the different materials available and within I will create a list function to list all the available materials which will be maple, oak, pine, beech, and mahogany. Click on OK to accept this rule. Now I will create a picture box that will display the pictures selected in the combo box that has just been created. Click on the file name rules builder button in the properties list and locate one of the material pictures you would like to dynamically drive. Replace the name of the material with the material form control that was recently created in between some speech marks and ampersands. Click OK to accept this rule, which will dynamically link up the two form controls. Click on the test button located in the project designer command bar to see if the two form controls have linked up correctly. You can see that they have, and when a material is chosen from the combo box, the material picture is also changed to reflect what has been chosen. I will now create a couple more form controls that dynamically link up with each other. 
I will create a label and put some text within it asking if the user would like to add a one year warranty. Next to this I would like to add a checkbox, but I would like to add the graphic to the phone control to make it more visually appealing. Under the properties list, click on the picture rules builder button and I will locate a graphic of a check that I created earlier. Then under the picture check rules builder button, locate the graphic of a cross. Now I'll change a few of the properties of the phone control, so the only visible thing is the graphic itself. Resize the phone control and position it where you would like it. Now I want to create another label with wording that will change when the check graphic form control is selected. Here this rule will return the top sentence if the checkbox return is false and the bottom if it is true. I have also added in some text formatting to the whole sentence and then some to the keywords. I have done this by using the usual tags such as I for italics and B for bold, but inserted them in brackets before the word I wanted formatting as a start tag, and then in brackets with a forward slash after the word I want formatting as an end tag. Click on OK to accept the rule. Now it's time to test the form by clicking on the test button in the DriveWorks Solo command bar to see if the graphic changes accordingly and the checkbox graphic changes along with the label underneath it. You can see that it all works now, so I can use the alignment and equalize functions within the DriveWorks Solo command bar to align all the form controls. You do this by selecting them all and clicking on equalize height and width buttons located on the command bar of the project designer. Within this how to video, I have highlighted just some of the form control functionality available within DriveWorks Solo, but there are still plenty more you can do to create good looking forms. For more information, click on the help button at any time whilst using DriveWorks Solo, or visit the online help file which can be found at help.driveworksolo.com.